Hi everybody, welcome to Teach You Girl 102. Today I'm going to teach you how to make cold porcelain. Here are the ingredients you'll need. Please pause this video if you need help reading them. Okay, so first you're going to need a one cup measurement. I use cornstarch that was bought from Target. Just put one cup in the in um, a glass bowl would be the best, or at least a microwave safe one. Now we're going to do one cup of tacky glue. It has to be tacky glue. If it's not tacky glue, the clay will not stick and it will not turn out good at all. I've tried it without. So I'm just going to pour all that in and it gets really messy sometimes. And so, yeah. I think next is either vinegar or baby oil. So just pour everything in, and I know it kind of takes a while for me to pour everything in there, but whatever. Okay, hurry up. <laughs> okay, so I think I stopped recording now because it was taking too long. But yeah, just keep getting everything into the bowl, and it's very sticky because it's tacky glue, but yeah. So... Okay, and finally we're to the next. Oh yeah, you want to rinse those out too. Now we're next part. Okay, now we're just gonna stir everything together till it gets all um put together, and so it will kind of be smooth, like not lumpy. We don't want it lumpy. Just till it all comes together. Oh, and it would be best if you wore an apron because it does get messy, especially with the cornstarch. And I also put some aluminum foil down and just taped it down because of it will scatter all over your kitchen. You may even want to put a towel on the floor. I know I did, I think, once. So just stir it all together. Okay, now you're going to need two tablespoons of baby oil. I have lavender, but don't use lavender like you don't have to use lavender I would just use regular baby oil and I think mineral oil works too now we're going to add two tablespoons of vinegar I think we got this vinegar from Walmart not like it really matters but I think we did okay now the tempera paint the tempera paint you can get from michael's with all their like little kids paints pretty much like their tempera paint and it's just those bo big bottles and you're gonna want one um teaspoon of that and it does make a big difference it's usually about five dollars for a big thing so once you stir it all together just keep stirring. I was stirring actually for about five minutes with that, and so that's the consistent you see you're going to want. And it will be kind of like a gooey form. Yeah, it will kind of like, I'd change spoons too, but you're going to want it to kind of like, just, yeah, it's kind of just gooey. You just want it gooey. And, of course, now I have to wash the spoon again. And now we're putting it in the microwave um, for 30 seconds. And I'm going to show you. 30 seconds. And you can also, while you're doing this, um, get aluminum foil out and put some baby um, lotion on it. So you can start kneading it once it comes out. Like, not when it comes out but you're gonna start stirring it now so 30 seconds and then stir it take it out and stir it and it's pretty hot still but Oh, and I think tomorrow I'm going to have a wallet tutorial, or not tutorial, 
Oh, and you're going to put it in for another 30 seconds. And then take it out and stir it again. And then one more time, you're going to put it in for another 30 seconds. Stir, take out, and start kneading it. Um, if you didn't understand me that time, just leave a comment. But pretty much you do it for a minute and 30 seconds, but just... Take it out every 30 seconds you do it and stir. And then the last 30 seconds you do, knead it. And if you can see that on the last time, I got some baby lotion and got my aluminum foil. And it's raining now, outside right now. So now we're just going to knead it till it gets cold. You're going to want it super smooth. I actually made some charms today with it and it worked out amazing. I made chibis, I made lollipops, and I think I made something else. But yeah. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial everyone and thank you for watching. Bye!